All right, this is chat for Roger. So um, I checked in with Roger and said, hey, I know you're going live here um, soon and just wanted to get an update. Hadn't heard from you. So he said, good morning, Vinny. Thanks for checking in. We had our go live call two weeks ago. I've struggled to get out of the gate with a small account. I lost my first three days, so I switched to micros. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Even though I did better, the commissions were eating my profits, so I switched back to minis. Yeah, this swapping around. Look, this is the stuff you get out of in your sim. Okay, but let's talk about this. I did better for four to five days and was up $1,200. Okay, then two days ago, I was down 300 for the day and should have quit. Well, that depends. So you didn't tell me how many trades did you take when you were down 300, okay? Because this is what I'm about to go over here in just a moment. Okay, I've got some good tips here for you and anybody else who sees this. But I took another big loss and finished down 750. Again, so where are you at in your trade count? Trade counts matter, folks. I'm gonna go through that here in just a moment. Yesterday, I lost my first two trades for almost $400 and I switched to SIM. Okay, huge mistake right here. I lost my first two trades down 400 and I switched to SIM. Literally, this is the opposite of what you should do. Okay, we're going to talk about that here in just a minute. Just remember when I come back to this, I'm going to talk about if you're going to start out live and you're trying to get your confidence, I would rather you start in SIM for your first couple of trades, wait until you've taken a couple of losses, then go live. And you're going to see why, because you switched to SIM and then let me guess, you crushed it, right? Today, I took five trades and finished with only $100. Okay, we'll talk about that. Um, I didn't want to post my losing screenshots or comment in the room because you have a great crop of rookies. I didn't want to discourage them or create any doubts. After my five trades, I trade sim until noon and I kill it. Okay, after your five trades, okay, um, then you kill it. I rarely finish below $2,000. I do at least four hours of market replay every night and kill that too. I feel like an idiot for not managing my fear of loss. Okay, fear of loss, maybe that's it, but we're going to show you guys some tips on how to get through that because I think other people have this as well. Your tools are the best. I'm remaining diligent and I couldn't have asked for a better mentor. I'll continue to persevere. Sorry for the long-winded response. Uh, this is what I did this morning. The one on the left is my account. The right is SIM. Okay, $100 in live, $2,100 in SIM. Okay, let's talk about this. This is the combined report. I don't know how to separate them. That's fine. We don't really care about that. Okay. So now let me switch over to my camera. Um, if this lets me, hopefully. All right. Um, hopefully you guys can still see this. So I'm switching to my camera. I think you guys can still see this. So here is my trade counts. Trade counts one through five. I want to talk about trades one and two here for a second. Okay. Trade one, trade two, right here. Trades one, trade two. These two right here are sort of the, look, I'm going to go toe in the water, quarter position off of these. Everybody get that. Toe in the water, quarter position for these first two. Now, that's your general thinking. Remember, I'm talking about when you walk up to your desk in the morning. What are you thinking? You're looking at your five trades. This is what you're doing every day. You're assuming, first of all, that your first two trades are going to be toe in the water, or quarter position max. Okay, you're not trying to go all out on your first couple of trades. You're getting your toes in the water. You're seeing how the market is. Now, again, if there's a perfect trade set up, sure, and it's moving your way, you know, get in, go for it, push it, that's fine. Okay, but what I want to talk about is these first two trades are the least important trades of your entire session. Okay, now I want to say your entire session, not your entire day. Okay, remember sessions are 60 to 90 minutes. All right, so five trades, we're two trades in. We really don't care. Okay, you, this should be your test bed. How, how are the markets going here this morning with the current setups that you're going on? Okay, now trades three, four, and five. This, these are the killers right here. You go in on this one. We're trying to get to a half size position. Okay, half or trying to get to full on these last three. Now, if you lose on that one, this one trades four and five. You know in your head, psychologically, you've only got three trades left. But folks, any single trade can make up for all these. Let's say that you had three losses in a row. So what? So what? Doesn't matter. In one single trade, you can absolutely smash it, right? So on these last two trades, we want to try to get into our full position size. You're progressing from small up to large and trying to get your largest trade there at the end and then bam there's your five trades and in these two trades alone you can make almost your entire uh your entire pay sorry i lost uh switched off a of camera there because i'm not actually recording from that your final two trades are where you make the majority of your money so think through that now final tip as you are trade progressing and you're starting out, if you're still having this fear scenario where you're doing well in sim, but all of a sudden you're switching over to live and you're just like, I don't know. I don't know what happens. It's been too long for me to figure out what it is. Like there's, there's no difference. Okay. Now I would rather you start out 
in sim. Like you want to take your first two trades in the morning. In fact, but if you win on those first two, folks, this is about cadence. Okay. Going back to um, his statement a moment ago. Okay. He's starting out. And remember that I talk about this in video one. So if you want to go back to video number one, where I talk about cadence. Okay. Everything that he said here was he's starting out some, and then all of a sudden he switches to sim. Remember, I tell you that if you've got losing trades, that the next set of trades is likely and are likely the ones that are going to crush it. So you actually want to do the opposite of what you're currently doing. Everybody's like, oh, I went live. Oh, I got crushed. Oh, I better switch to sim. This is the opposite of what you should be doing. I'm trying to reinforce this one last time for Roger and everyone else. Please hear me out and do this. Go sim first if you have this problem. Get beat up, if you will, a little bit, and then switch to live. It's the, again, while you have your tail tucked between your legs, because listen, you're getting, I get it, you can be emotional about trading. I'm not a person to tell you don't be emotional about trading, but this is that moment when you use your emo emotions for the good and understand that, okay, I just got wrecked a couple times. Awesome. That means I'm about to hit some winners. So go live after you've gotten wrecked a couple of times. Now, so let's talk about that trade sequence one last time here. Okay. Think about this. So let's say that I come over here and my first two trades are losers. No, no. Let's say that they're winners. Okay. Winners in sim. You're like, oh shoot. Well, guess what? I do not want to switch to, to live right now. This is what the majority of people do. They have all these good trades in sim. Oh, crushing it. Oh, crushing it. Oh, crushing it. I just crushed five trades in a row. Great. I'm going to go live. Guess what? The cadence already existed. You already crushed the, the, the cadence. Remember, I talked about this in the, in the first set of videos, okay? But that video right there, oh, tap to scan. That's kind of cool. Um, you're, you've already done your five trade winners. So what are you going to get right here? This is going to be a loser, loser, loser. Okay. And you're over here, you're trading with this. Okay. You're coming over here in your first sets of trades live and you're going wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. And then, so these are three losers. And then what do you do again? Oh, I'm going to switch to SIM. Boom. So now all of a sudden you're crushing it over here. So what? You're literally doing the opposite of what you need to be doing. Does everybody understand this? Stop this cycle, okay? You're going to go through cadence, right? Winners, losers, winners, right? That's what you want, right? Or losers, winners, don't go back to do some more losers, all right? That is hopefully helpful. Make sure you understand those cadence scenarios. And again, we never know when we're going to go into a winning cadence when we start. So what I tell you, the tip is, this is again, this is a hack. This is a mind hack and it's a cadence hack is start out in SIM. Okay. Wait until you've had two or three losses, then go live. Everybody got it. Okay. Everybody got that. Or again, if you are going live every morning, like which what I do. Okay. I go small positions on my first two trades to find out whether or not I have hit into that cadence or not. And I figure out what the market is doing. Oops. I figure out what the market is doing in my first couple of trades. So that trades three, four, and five is where I'm trying to make the majority of my money during that session. Now, does that mean that every session is going to be successful? No. In fact, I can come in here and I get these first two winners. This is actually the most dangerous is when you get these little toe in the water and quarter position trades and they do well and you get trade number three and it's also well on this trade four and five, you really got to start to think and really narrow it down that um, again, you might be getting into the losing set of cadence. Okay. So sometimes you may look at your PL and go, well, Let's wait it out. And remember, it's only 60 to 90 minutes. So hopefully that 60 to 90 minutes expires by the time you've gotten those trades. So hopefully that is helpful. Hopefully I've given you a little hack. The hack is, if you're taking away notes, is very simple. Start out very small or start out in sim. Take a few losses. Wait until you've had a few losses. Boom. Then go live or go big. All right. Hopefully that's helpful. Catch you guys in the next one.